public hearing on our FY 2016 budget. Um, I'd like to make a couple of comments. Again, uh, I want to personally thank staff, Ms. Black, her department, the entire staff for the, all the hard work that they have gone through to put this budget together. Um, it, it is a good budget. It's solid. Um, we, uh, as a commission, of course, have had our input into the budget process. Um, it has not been an easy process, as we know. As we had been said earlier, there were, when we got, through, got started with this, there were seven, roughly $7 million in request above what the um, proposed uh, um, revenue was going to be. So consequently, we had a lot of work, difficult decisions that had to be made, but we have gotten to that point now. And so at this time, I want to go ahead and turn it over to Ms. Stephanie Black, the Financial Director for Lowndes County, for the presentation. Thank you. And just a couple of comments before we get um, started. We have a, a short PowerPoint to do. Um, before you, you have um, the printed out book that um, you all received electronically a couple of weeks ago. Um, there is a letter in the front of it um, from the county manager kind of explaining the budget process and some of the things that have gone on through the year. Um, so I would encourage you to um, read that when you have a few minutes. Um, this is the public hearing on the budget on the 23rd during your regular meeting. Um, the budget will be adopted at, as a regular agenda item. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, just a real quick reminder, this is the organizational chart. I know it's kind of hard to read, but um, you're responsible for funding all of the agencies that you see on the screen, but only those in the center that are colored, um, kind of an orange color, those are the ones that fall directly under the direction of the Board of Commissioners. Just a real quick history on the millage. Um, you can see that the, the green portion there is the part that actually comes to the county. Um, and that had been decreasing until this past year. Um, that was the first millage increase um, of the county portion in several, several years. Um, you also see the portion there that began in 2007. That was for the um, industrial authority and in 2008 for the parks and recreation authority. A comparison of budgets by fund from 2015 to 2016, general fund remained virtually flat with a 0.88% increase. Under your special revenue funds, the commissary shows a 22.93% increase. Um, that's mostly due to a shift in some of the utilities. Um, drug seizures remains flat. Law library um, remains flat. Accommodation excise tax shows a 28.8% increase. That's in anticipation of the change in the hotel motel rate. Intergovernmental grants, 1.09%. Jail operations fund shows a decrease of 9.46%. Um, that is due to some of the fines decreasing. And so some of those utilities were shifted because of that. Um, drug abuse treatment shows a 6.25% increase. That was actually done during the year last year, um, the increase to um, LODAC. Emergency communications shows a 2.34% increase. The Victim Witness Fund shows a 16.37% decrease. Again, that is due to um, the reduction in those fine revenues. Special, special services shows a 2.56% increase. Under your capital projects fund, your SPLOS 5 and 6 show decreases because those, are, those projects are being spent out. Um, the judicial administration and jail construction fund also um, should be completely spent very soon. SPLOS 7 remains the same. Under your enterprise funds, Water and sewer shows a 6.46% increase. Um, your landfill fund shows a 16.99% increase. Um, part of that was a um, increase to the funding for KLVB. Uh, and that happened actually last year. 
street lighting 2.03 percent increase under your internal service funds the equipment maintenance fund shows a 495 percent increase that is where the fleet manager and equipment maintenance funds are actually combined so you'll see that the fleet manager is actually zero that those were just those were combined during the year health insurance is virtually flat at 0.89 percent and there's no change in workers comp so overall your budget goes from 112 million 785 361 to 100 million 502 054 or down 10.89 percent if you look just at your general fund um, you'll see your taxes are virtually flat at 0.90 percent no change in your licenses and permits your intergovernmental shows a 35.58 percent decrease that was primarily due to that dot mowing contract charges for service up 8.65 percent fines and forfeitures again those are down those are showing 15.14 percent down and miscellaneous 1.69 percent so your total revenues 50 million 373 538 and that is flat at 0.56 percent on the expenditure side general government is up 2.7 percent judicial 5.51 percent public safety um, virtually flat is actually down 0.29 percent public works down 1.71 percent health and welfare down 7.77 percent culture and recreation down 0.84 percent and no change to housing and development total expenditures 50 million 552 497 which is up 7.7 percent once you put the transfers in and out you'll see that the, the general fund is balanced um, just some of the highlights again um, property taxes were virtually flat there is a small merit increase but no additional cost of living increase um, there were some increases in the contributions for insurance no additional personnel but there are two positions in here that are not funded um, limited new vehicles and computers and a continuation of the current levels of service if you look at how the general fund revenues are broken out you'll see that 87.17 percent comes from taxes that is not all property tax if you break up that 87.17 percent 71.49 percent of it is property tax and 27.30 is local option sales tax which reduces the amount of property taxes on the expenditure side 23.45 percent of the expenditures are for general government 10.76 percent for judicial 37.92 percent for public safety 9.53 percent for public works and then you see the, the other smaller percentages there if you look at the entire budget and determine where every dollar of tax monies that you pay goes this is what that would look like and um, those have virtually remained the same for the last three years in addition to uh, Stephanie's report mr. chairman I'd like to make you and the Commission aware of a couple of items that we have worked on since your last review of this there were a couple of issues um, specifically one was dealing with a request for um, court reporters uh, from the both the um, Superior Court and State Court we have been able to address both of those concerns and they're basically a, a wash because under their proposal we would no longer be required to pay for some of the transcripts that have been um, an amount we've had to pay for the last several years so that will we'll be able to take care of that I mentioned um, to y'all previously there was a request during the budget presentations from the sheriff's office concerning the software product we have had several meetings with 
uh, the IT staff and with the regional commission who is the um, developer of this program. Um, we have monies earmarked for that that are not in a particular line item. They are um, anticipated in the contingency. Um, there is an issue related to the solicitor and the district attorney and the funding of the victim witness program and Stephanie alluded to. I've had uh, conversation with um, the solicitor general. Stephanie has had conversation with the district attorney. As you all are aware, those funds have, uh, the revenue has been less than anticipated. They're by uh, requiring a division, uh, a different division of those funds than over past years. Uh, as we are required, we must submit to you for your consideration a balanced budget. And uh, I, is Justin here tonight? Is he going to be here? Or? I don't believe so, no, sir. Okay. I was, at, he was asking, is there any way to maintain, I think it's a part time position and um, that would either be a additional funds allocated by the commission or additional funds from the district attorney in the because the district attorney is the party responsible for the division of the victim witness funds and I'm not sure whether the um, solicitor and the district attorney have had any conversations about that. I, if so, I'm not privy to it at this point, but that that is an issue that it is showing balance and that balance required the elimination of that part time. And the last item is uh, funding for the uh, Metropolitan Planning Organization, which is the MPO for our traffic information and studies. Um, as y'all are aware, uh, a request has been submitted from the MPO uh, for an additional approximately $16,000 related to two studies that are not currently in the budget. We have a budget, I believe, Stephanie, of uh, 15000 and this would be an additional 16 plus that would need to be added to that. I don't have that specific number, but once that is, I'll get that for you so you can give consideration at your next uh, meeting for that decision. All right. Thank you, Mr. Pritchard. Thank you, Ms. Black. Do we have any questions for Ms. Black or for Mr. Pritchard on the budget or any of these issues? No, sir. <laughs> In regards to the current budget as presented in balance? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Thank okay, you, sir. Stephanie. None. Thank Ms. Black. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to make a comment in regards to the budget? You're in the hearing process. This is your opportunity. Yes, please come forward. State your name and address for the record, please. Hey, I'm uh, Wade Kruger, uh, Circuit Public Defender, uh, home address is 202 West 4th Street. Um, I have one question specific to what's been recommended for the, the Public Defender's Office. Um, I left a message uh, with, with you earlier today. Right. I, don't, I don't know if now is the time or place to address the question, and if not. It related, it related to, to the, the lease. To the lease. Uh, just uh, I noticed that, you know, that I guess that y'all had, had to appropriate an additional $30,000 for the, 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 the lease. Um, I just wanted some information on what that means. That was, a, that was a wait for three years, and what we worked out was um, the owner wanted to go five years, right. and uh, we cut it back to three years because we anticipate it would take that length of time in order for us to find the available space uh, for y'all. So the compromise was for the three years, and that's why it led up to that amount of money. Okay, so we've got three, uh, basically three years in the current location. Right. Where, so we won't have to address that issue for another couple of years. 
uh, about a year and a half from now, you and I will be trying to figure okay. out what you <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, thanks for the information. That's the only question I have. Thanks okay. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Hearing none, if there's no other questions, we'll adjourn the public hearing.